Attention readers and leaders, world-renowned author Jordan Wells has teamed up with Hip Hop News Uncensored for a special offer just for you. That's right. I want everybody listening under the sound of my voice to click on the link at the top line of the description box and make sure you go grab yourself one of his many books right now. I'm guaranteeing you this book, any one of these books will change your life and the way that you see things. The link is at the top of the description box. Ready, set, go. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. And so first, what caused y'all to, to uh, come together on the live stream and piece things up after, you know, months of allegations of going, going back and forth uh, between each other's throat or at each other's throat? I think I can speak on this because it was all, I ain't going to say it was all me, but I had reached out to uh, Johnny Mac. I felt like I needed to talk to him where I was going in life. I felt like a conversation with him had to be had so I could just take the next next step. So that was my goal. So I called Johnny Mac to get his number. So, you know, Johnny Mac was like to go through uh, Philly First 48. Yeah. Yeah, he was like the go-between. So I called Johnny Mac. Johnny got with Shady. We got on the phone. And I was just trying to give him my spill. But he wasn't really trying to that shit. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, listen, because I when I got on the phone, it wasn't to get his side of the story. You see what I'm saying? Mm. It was just to say, listen, man, I'm off that shit, man. I don't even care whether you did it or not, whether you told it. Or not, I don't care. I'm just saying, I'm just moving on, man. That was it. No doubt, no doubt. So. I wasn't really, I didn't really have an open air. I didn't go with an open air. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad I did open them up. Cause I got a chance to like, I know, I know for me, from us being together so much, I know everything that went on both sides. You see what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. sides. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I can sit, that I can relate to. Like, cause, because I knew this and I knew that, you see what I'm saying? I could see this happening. So, just my, uh, I was patching it up regardless, if that's just it. A lot of people worrying about when I, when I, when I said that, I don't believe that Shady told, because outside of that paperwork, I mean, I'm sure people like, damn, but he said he told, how can you say that? And then take it back and this, that, and the third is like, all right, but. I wanted it to be true at the time. Motherfucker can't never tell me that in my position with all them factors, they wouldn't have took my same stance on it. You know what I'm saying? And I doubled back and said I was wrong for taking that stance because of because of that. I was wrong for that. I shouldn't have took that stance because of that, but that's what I wanted to do. I know a lot of motherfuckers in my situation would have done the same thing, but that ain't the right thing to do is what I'm saying. We got to have physical evidence, man, if we're going to do these type of things, say these type of things. Man. And I haven't seen any yet. Right. Now, um, after all that happened, I seen that dude put out a video. A.R. Rad was talking, and he, he, was, he pretty much came out and said that Shady Black they, um, told or had a statement or something like that against him. Right? It seemed like, like immediately to break the piece up. So what happened with all of that and Shady Black for you? Is that true that, you know, that, you know, you um, wrote a statement up and they was going to use it, but they didn't use it in court? No, that's not true at all. So I'm going to watch my words about Ab because Ab was a brother of mine. I was a brother of Ab. What Ab seen when me and Leek moved to Cali, when I moved to Cali and Leek got out to Cali with me when he stayed, I'm going to rephrase a lot of things that I said in the past. And I'm not just going to say that because Leek's sitting right here. I'm saying this on all honest. Leek didn't live with me. We lived together. I lived there first. When he came there, I welcomed him into my home and told him it was his home too. So at that point, he didn't live with me. We lived with each other. Me and Leek, we living out Cali, and we doing things that to us is normal because me and Leek grew up in a different neighborhood. So... <clears throat> To us, the things that me and Leek doing is normal. As brothers, we living out our life. But to his actual brothers and to people that he grew up with that I ain't had no knowledge of because they whole different neighborhood. 
they was looking at me like crazy. Me and Leek wasn't thinking like that. Leek was gone. It was that interjected themselves in the OBH that wasn't there while me and Leek was there. As me and Leek sitting from 3,000 miles away looking at the people that's being included and posted on pictures in OBH, we thought we was getting away from that. We thought we was going towards making big hits with cash money. We thought uh, Kevin Gates, we thought we was going to make it out. We didn't think that we was coming back for the image of being the murderers or being killers. Or we didn't think that. So when me and Leek seen those things that alarmed us, we felt like in our heart that Ab had too many people around him and it was like they was trying to muscle him. It was like they was trying to force him to really do what he need. Like, you get what I'm saying? Lee go back. <laughs> I go back. It was just a lot of dissension because of a lot of different issues and a lot of miscommunication, a lot of people lying about stuff. On my end, I probably had way too many conversations with way too many people for the story to be straight, for sure. I've never, there's no case that Ab has caught that has anything to do with me for me to tell on him. Whatever Ab has been investigated for, has went to trial for, been convicted for, I don't even know if Ab got his time yet. Me and Leek never talked about nothing like that. I don't, I don't research what's going on with his case because I ain't got nothing to do with his case. When everybody was saying I was on the stand, I was in the house playing Call of Duty. So, you know, you could just imagine, uh, for me, bro, all this stuff grew out of suspicion, people saying, oh, why he ain't locked up? Why he ain't locked up? Why he ain't locked up? One thing spied on to the next, and then just it just was, it was what it was. Motherfucker just labeled me a snitch. Can't do nothing about that. Taste 600 couldn't do nothing about it either. My thing my thing was, was, on, my thing was about, about that, Joan was, put me in like a, a compromising position because now it's like Ab saying this, this mm -hmm. saying that. But I would be putting myself in a more compromise, compromising position if I took somebody else's word again. You see what I'm saying? Right. I'm not, that's just not how we do things. That's not how we did things when we was in the streets. And when you're talking about street things, all them rules still apply. You see what I'm saying? Especially when it applies to a friend. I really want to see it now. You know what I'm saying? You really have to show me. How, how much did the media kind of take this and run with it and go crazy because I know when the initial situation happened, a lot of people grabbed it and kind of created their own narratives. And then you guys came on and you defended yourselves and said certain things on Instagram and things like that. It really spun and got crazy. So how much did the media, did you realize they kind of played a part in making this shit a lot crazier than what it was? Let me get that, Lee. Let me get that. I know for sure, for certain, that the beef between me and OBH I know for sure it spawned at least like 10 to 15 different